Well, if you've ever dreaded science class in school, there's one man out there that hopes to change that feeling. His name is Mark Straub, and he's here to show us how science can be really, really cool. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to learn what you're doing, but first, tell me, how long have you been teaching science? Uh, well, I've been running cool science for about eight years now, so uh, and I've been doing it full time for about the last five years. Very nice. Yeah. And what is cool science all about? So cool science is just what it name uh, suggests. It's all about making science fun for kids. We do a lot of hands-on demonstrations and things like that, just to get kids excited about science. Good. We're going to show some demonstrations here in mm -hmm. just a few seconds. But uh, uh, besides the show, where can people go to see your demonstrations? So the best place to find out what we're doing is at our website, coolscience.org. Uh -huh. That has our calendar. Tells where we're going to be. We're going to be at the Space Foundation Discovery Center in Colorado Springs if you haven't been down there this Saturday. And we're at, uh, we do a lot of events, uh, a lot of programs in Denver, public libraries, just did one yesterday. Do you go to schools? We go to schools. Most of our programs are in schools. So can we go teachers to schools. sign we'll up? Denver school. Yep, yep. Teachers can find us on our website, uh, sign up for our mailing list, and we'll let you know what we have coming up. But um, teachers and parents can Good. contact us up and tell us, you know, bring us to your school. Coolscience.org, right, Mark? Coolscience.org, yeah. Okay, you brought me some safety glasses. Okay. I hear today we're going to do something with um, liquid, liquid All right, nitrogen. So we're using liquid nitrogen, okay. which a lot of people have probably heard of. It's basically liquid air. Any mm -hmm. gas, if you cool it down enough, will condense into a liquid. Air, or, or in this case nitrogen, which is most, mostly what air is made of, right. we have to cool it really cold to get it to turn into a liquid. It's about 322 degrees Whoa. below zero Fahrenheit. And to show you what that looks like, and obviously it's warmer than that in the, in the studio here, so it's boiling rapidly as we do that. And what, what I wanted to show today are maybe some things you haven't seen. One, one really cool property of liquid nitrogen is it has extremely low viscosity. You might have heard that word in the oil mm -hmm. commercials. That is goopiness. Viscosity is goopiness. So something with a high viscosity is very goopy. This has a very low viscosity. So if I give it a little swirl, wow. it's just going to keep swirling and swirling. That it's a little is hard really to see awesome. in the beaker. I'm going to put it in this flask. And you'll be able to see even better what's happening. So you can see it boiling. Right. And I'm going to give swirl it a little it around, swirl. And it stays swirl. How long will it do that? Well, let's watch. Let's slow down. My gosh, that is so cool. So that's extremely low viscosity. In fact, I could even oh! do that. We lost a little. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that won't hurt me? No, it won't. In fact, I'll show you. You might ask why I'm not wearing gloves. This yes. is 322 degrees below zero. Actually, for small amounts like this, it's safer not to have gloves because what? it basically will flash boil as soon as it that hits my hurt? skin and it's gone. If I was wearing, if I put it in my shirt, put it on cloth, it would soak in and stay there for a little do, while. Do it on my skin. Do it on my skin. You want to have a little? Is it going to ruin so my just let it ring? run off. Just let it run off. Wow. It just tickles a it little. It does. It tickles we, a we little. We do that to kids all the time. It just tickles a little bit. What are the reactions of the kids when they oh, do that? Oh, well, one thing we do with this is we make ice cream and liquid nitrogen, and we let the kids do it themselves. So they get to see it up close. They get to feel the sizzling and the What did you do with the balloon? The Was that liquid you nitrogen? You saw me shrink the balloon yeah. before. So this is so cold. I've got some in here. I'm going to let you just press that gently into the nitrogen, and you're going to see the balloon shrink. Oh, wow. Look at I'm like a giant kid. Ooh, whoa. Oh, yeah. This is We're awesome. I would imagine around in there and parents see it getting smaller. love this as much as the kids. Don't put your hands in. Yeah, what would it do to my hands? <laughs> oh, in about, uh, it'd take about four minutes to freeze your fingers solid. Wow. So and, I, and I mean solid. You go through all the safety. That's why I'm wearing safety glasses, mm -hmm. but yeah, when we don't you want teach to splash the kids. It in your eyes, right, sure. okay. Very interesting. This is other interesting, too. This is, whoops, let me get a bigger one. What? This okay. is a helium balloon. Everybody knows helium balloons float. Right. But not if we get them cold. When we cool down gases, they shrink. Our balloon here is now expanding again. It goes right back. Okay. But the helium balloon is shrinking. You can see how wimpy it is now. And so it, here's a helium balloon that doesn't float. Because it's just sucking the helium Because out. it's too small. It's we've, too small. We've changed. We've shrunk the volume, but all the mass is still there. It'll go right but back now up. now it's warming up. And Why as did soon you bring as it gets big enough, it'll float away. Chalk and strawberries. We do all kinds. So this is so much fun. We can do lots of cool things with it. I'm going to throw a strawberry in there. We'll see how fast a strawberry. There went our helium balloon. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a couple pieces of chalk. This is sidewalk chalk. My mm -hmm. kids color with all the time. We're going to throw those in there. We're going to show you how fast the strawberry will freeze. 
Mm. Here, I'll do something else while we're waiting for the strawberry to freeze. Okay. This is a ping pong ball, and I poked a hole in it with a pin. What does that do? I'm going to put it in here. We're cooling it down. There's air inside the ping pong ball, so we're cooling down the air. You saw what it did to the balloon. Right. The ping pong ball won't shrink, but it'll suck liquid Isn't inside the ball. When I take it out, that liquid's going to warm up and start oh, make it spin. coming out. And it'll get going really, there it goes. If you freeze this strawberry, and then I have to wrap, will it, will it shatter and break oh, if you throw absolutely. it down? Oh, cool, cool. Hey, whoa! Bye-bye, strawberry. You can find out how you can get your students excited about science. There are demonstrations coming up in the Denver area. To access the full calendar, please visit CoolScience.org. CoolScience.org. Follow Cool Science on Twitter or Facebook at CS Cool Science. You can also call them for more information at 719-389-6431. Hey, thanks for your company, Colorado.